hello everyone uh, welcome to another session uh, today we will be discussing about uh, creating users uh, so far uh, you guys have used uh, only the root user to connect to mysql and execute statements uh, the root user uh, should never be used uh, while accessing mysql uh, except for uh, administration tasks from local host uh, you should create users and restrict the access to them uh, restrict the resource usage as well and so on there are many things you can do to the user uh, for creating the user uh, you should have uh, the create user privileges so that well, I, I will be discussing later on uh, in upcoming videos as well uh, for but uh, for the initial setup uh, what we can do is uh, we can use the our root user okay so uh, let's create uh, our first uh, user uh, I will be just creating the user and I will tell you uh, what things are involved in creating the user and because uh, uh, user in MySQL uh, is uh, not the same as creating in Oracle okay let's say I have this user I am creating a user uh, its uh, which name is local and uh, it's will be connected from the local host okay so this area this is the name of the user and uh, this area specifies that from where the user will be connecting to the uh, this uh, MySQL server so for this uh, user uh, local user it can connect to this mysql server only from uh, our local host okay so it cannot connect to uh, any from any where from any other remote session so this user can only uh, connect to this mysql server from the local host so this is uh, how this uh, mysql uh, mysql user creation works so it means there are two parts in the uh, username so this uh, first is the username and the second uh, is the host from where uh, the user will be connecting to uh, it can be uh, any IP uh, or it you can I will show you some uh, how you can change this all this thing so the part consists of the username and from where the uh, user is uh, connecting to this uh, uh, our MySQL server okay so this is how you create a user and uh, let's say uh, let me show you more uh, like this uh, okay this part let's I say create another user okay so now what I'm doing is uh, local uh, 33 uh, is connecting from anywhere so this user can connect from anywhere from any remote session uh, unless until there is any firewall uh, restriction so this user can connect local user can connect from anywhere to our mysql server so this is how we create another user and uh, okay another user uh, you can also specify a specific uh, subnet uh, what i want is uh, any user coming from this specific subnet uh, he can connect to this our mysql server uh, so local 42 uh, can can come from uh, any subnet uh, which belongs to any IP which belongs to uh, this subnet okay so this is how uh, we can specify uh, different things and yes I can restrict a user for only coming from a specific IP so a user of local 45 uh, who can uh, who will be only allowed to access uh, this MySQL server uh, don't confuse with 1110 uh, I can change this IP as well uh, let's say uh, we change the IP okay because my server IP is also uh, the same so I don't want you guys to get uh, confused okay so now local 45 user can only connect to this current uh, MySQL server which is running on this IP 1110 okay 56.1110 can uh, can connect to this MySQL server only from this IP okay so the remote uh, host which have this IP can connect using this user to this MySQL server okay so any user which have this IP can connect to this MySQL server so this is how you can restrict uh, your user to certain IPs to certain uh, to local host or to any subnet or you can allow him to connect from anywhere so this uh, this is how you can uh, this is the low lower level of security uh, you can apply to your, your user and uh, 
this is how it works okay so now uh, we have few more things while creating user uh, which which is like uh, like here what I'm doing is connecting a user uh, creating a user sorry and it's called local one I will be connected from local host uh, this is I'm giving a, a password as well and I'm giving you here a comment so what a, a comment means that uh, something uh, anything you can say about this user that uh, what this user is for and where this user will be used so this is how you can create a user with the comment so you can comment as well and uh, let me show you uh, how this looks like when you do this uh, okay so what this sh this show us that select static from uh, information schema uh, there is a table which is called attributes uh, and we are saying that bring us the user one and uh, the host is local host because you see uh, the user is this and we have the low host specifically we have mentioned the low lo host local host okay so local one and local host okay one more thing uh, if I create a user uh, just like this uh, local one <laughs> and I pro provide this so these two are different users okay it's not the same they, they are not the same they are different users you see it's didn't say that we have another user uh, with the same name if I do this I should get an error because uh, the user failed for localhost because this user already exists and if you see this one uh, th I got this created but the username is same but in MySQL the user is a collective uh, of the host address and the name so this should collectively call a user so you should know this thing uh, should uh, always know this thing because if you grant some uh, privileges to this user it's not the same for this user because both are different so if I can sh show you uh, use uh, this schema and show tables we have a table here uh, users uh, let's say yeah, user attributes and user privileges there's another table thing sorry uh, that's not here show databases uh, uh, the table exists in the sys schema I, for, uh, I think in sys uh, yes I hope so it's in sys uh, show tables no sorry it's in my sql use sql show tables here is a user table here if I do select stay from users so there are a lot of user uh, you can see. let's describe so if you can see uh, the host is a different uh, column and the user is a different column so you should know that uh, this is why I'm saying that uh, it's a collective thing okay so it's not uh, like uh, any it, so uh, that's why I'm saying that host and the user combining together becomes a user in MySQL uh, in the case of MySQL so here if I say we have only uh, 12 user and uh, let me show you I'm not okay let's say I have this user you see global and this one is the host is here and I think I have created a user let me show you that user as well yeah see this one local host and local and uh, there should be another user uh, because the scroll is not uh, enough for me to go up, up but uh, you can uh, do anything with your uh, user uh, let's say where uh, user na uh, name let me get the username okay which user we created again I think it was the user okay what was it so 
is to use it. So there, we, we can query your uh, results from here to a different user host. Okay, uh, and it's got messy a bit. Let me exit this. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, let me log into the Massive again. Let's uh, do uh, more examples here. Okay, what I wanted to tell you next uh, that you can also use attributes as well. Uh, like uh, you create a testy user and you tell him this is my first name, this is my second name. Uh, let me show you that. And you can also store some information about your user. These are the users which can be used for the administration uh, of the MySQL server or it, you guys can use this uh, for your uh, any administration task on MySQL server as well. Okay, so now if I show you some information about this user. Okay, you see uh, I have created a user testy localhost and there are some attributes about him. Uh, like I'm saying that was the what was is the first name uh, was his last name and what is his phone number you can add more uh, by separate comma and you can add some maybe city or his address as well or any other column about the user so you, this is how you can add some extra information about your user but this not uh, add any other special uh, privileges to this uh, user this is just for the information that if you want to know that uh, any information about your user okay so uh, this is how uh, you can create and one more thing uh, combining this comment this comment and this attribute uh, option you cannot c c uh, combine these two together uh, let's say I want to add comment as well uh, in this query and I want to use this so this will generate an error because uh, in one query either you can use attribute either you can use comment so you cannot use uh, these two uh, together while creating any user so for that uh, what I would suggest uh, you can use uh, like this uh, let's say I want to create so and okay this our username is Maurice I think the rest is the same. It's local host, yeah. Okay, you see, I added another attribute, uh, another object is called the first name, last name, and then I added another uh, uh, object called comment. So this is how uh, you can add another. You can use this attribute, uh, e simple this attribute. Uh, I think using this attribute is enough. Uh, you don't need to use this comment as well. So in case you want to use a comment, either attribute and either if you want to use comment and an uh, attribute together, it's better to use only attribute and add another object called comment and you can write anything, uh, any specific information about him. Uh, it's not necessary that this should be comment. You can write anything just like I have last name. Uh, I just, just for the example, I've shown that you can uh, write anything here okay so if you want to uh, access uh, specifically some attributes uh, some like uh, uh, attributes objects uh, so this is how you can do it uh, like accessing uh, the let me show you here okay uh, what i did this here uh, that i want to uh, I didn't want to get the comment from here uh, it's like i want to change it so like i have uh, what i did at like uh, i concatenated concat the first name and the last name and uh, shows is at full name and then I took the comment as a comment and few options what you can do with uh, your uh, attribute as well so from the attribute uh, from this area you can get information uh, like here this, this is this is the query how you can access this uh, actually this is a JSON format storing this information as a JSON format so this is how you can play around with the JSON so uh, the rest of information is uh, coming from information and dot user attributes as well okay so yes uh, you can also assign uh, your uh, user you can restrict your user uh, like what I'm telling him that what you can do is only uh, 500 queries per hour or uh, that you can update uh, uh, max update you can go for is uh, 100 per hour so this is how you can uh, uh, restrict your user uh, resources so this is how uh, and yes if you want to uh, lock your user uh, this is how you can lock your user 
and if you want uh, to unlock this is how you can unlock your user so this is how you play around your user and yes if you want to drop uh, your user it's not that uh, you can do it only with test one so this will generate an error uh, because uh, it's not it won't work uh, because uh, as I told you uh, the user is not just a test one uh, combining with this whole combining with the IP address or the host uh, area uh, it becomes a user so now if you want to drop the user what you have to do is uh, you have to write this uh, as a whole so this is how you can drop a user uh, so this was uh, about creating user this was all about creating user uh, next I will show you some uh, playing around the password management uh, there are like few things you can do with the password so that's it for today please like and share i hope so you like the video uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel to uh, get more videos as well